OpenAI offers the world's most advanced AI technologies, including ChatGPT, DALI 3 and Sora. In this video, I will show you how you can use the OpenAI API in Python to leverage that power for your next project. Together, we will explore text generation, text to speech, speech to text and image generation and create a small chatbot that looks like this. Hey folks, hang around till the end to discover if I'm crafted from code or just pure sass. I will be working with a Jupyter Notebook and to ensure you can follow along, I'll start from stretch completely. If you're already familiar with installing Python packages and working with a virtual environment, feel free to skip ahead using the chapters. The first step is to set up our project environment. To create a new virtual environment, you just type python3 minus m vnf vnf. This command calls the vnf module which will create a new virtual environment in the folder named vnf. To activate our new environment, we need to execute source vnf bin activate. Now we can see the environment folder name in front of our prompt. This means our environment was successfully activated and everything we install from now on will be installed only in this folder. So if you're done and no longer need this project, deleting the folder will also remove all its dependencies, making room for new projects. To work with OpenAI in a Jupyter Notebook, we need two dependencies, Jupyter and the OpenAI API Python package. However, for the rest of the chatbot, I will need a little bit more. By executing pip3 install Jupyter openai wheel pi object c play sound and pv recorder, we install all the dependencies we need going forward. The pi object c package is only needed on macOS, by the way. Now we can start Jupyter by running Jupyter Notebook. And with new, Python 3, we create a new notebook. Before we proceed, I will paste all the imports I need at the top of the notebook so I don't have to add them during the course of this video. In addition to the OpenAI Python package, we use PyV Recorder to record our voice, Play Sound to play the generated speech, and IPython's display module to show images. The first thing we need to communicate with OpenAI's API is a client object. So we type client equals open AI brackets. However, running this cell as is results in an error. The API key client option must be set either by passing API key to the client or by setting the open AI API key environment variable. To resolve this, we need to obtain an API key. For that, we need to visit platform .openai.com again. After you log in, you should see this dashboard. And now we need to navigate to API keys, create new secret key, give it a name, create secret key. We are then presented with an alphanumeric string, which is our API key. It's really important to copy it here because there is no way to display it again. Back in our Jupyter Notebook, we can pass this API key to our client. We just go API underscore key equals the API key. With the API key entered, the cell runs now and we have a client object established. As seen before, OpenAI offers multiple different APIs and models. Let's start with the most used one, chat completions. We are utilizing the chat completions API to generate an AI crafted answer. The chosen model is GPT 3.5. Turbo. The messages parameter provides all necessary context for the model's response. It's a list of dictionaries, each specifying a role and content. There are three different roles. System, which delivers the system prompt, outlining the model's overall task and setting the conversation's tone. User, represents messages entered by the user. And assistant, which is not used here right now, includes previous responses generated by the AI to maintain context throughout the conversation. Let's see what we get in the response. As we can see, we get a chat completion object with an ID. In there, there are choices. And for each choice, it's a list, we get a choice object. And inside this choice object, we have 
the message, which is a chat completion message, and there is a content, and that's actually the generated text by the AI. To get only the return text, we can write this. Response, choices, first element, message, content. I run this. I'm like a computer with a sense of humor, a bit bitey, you might say. As you can see, our system prompt is, you are a witty assistant, always answering with a joke, so this response makes sense. However, it's important to understand something here. The API hands all the messages in the create call to the model and only these. So in order to have a real conversation with the model, in which it also knows about all that's been said before, we need to manually manage this context. But before we do that, let's explore the model parameter. On platform.openai.com you can find the model overview page. To get there you go to models under get started. There you have all the different models that OpenAI offers and let's look at GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo. And in here is the description of all the different versions for GPT-4. I just go with the newest one. I copy this identifier here. Go back to the Jupyter Notebook and replace it here. Let's run it again. I'm your virtual genie, but instead of granting three wishes, I just keep popping up with punchlines. Funny. How can we turn the chat completions into a real chat? I prepared a class for this. In the constructor, we are saving the OpenAI client and setting up the initial context with only the system prompt. In the chat method, we are appending the entered user message and calling the chat completions API as seen before. Now we add the AI generated response to the context for further reference. To print the chat, there is a print chat method which prints everything said by us and the AI in a cleaner way. Let's try it out. So I run the cell, I create a new chatbot instance with our client handed in and let's chat a little. Hello, who are you? Run the cell and we see user, hello, who are you? Bot, hello, I'm the digital genie of the lamp but instead of granting wishes, I serve up jokes. Actually, I don't feel like reading all of this for you. Let's give our chatbot a voice. Another API we can use is text to speech. For that, we'll add a speak function, which looks like this. We're calling the speech create API here and selecting the TTS1 HD model. TTS stands for text to speech. We can also select a voice we want. There are currently six different voices to choose from. And we hand over the message that should be synthesized to audio. Now we just need to call this speak method in our chat method. Self speak and hand in the response we have generated. And let's try it out. I instantiate a new object and run the same conversation again. Oh, hello. I'm the digital genie that popped out of your device, ready to grant your every command. Well, except for more wishes, cleaning your room or making your coffee. For everything else, I'm all ears. Typing is so 2010. Let's add voice chat. Before we integrate this into our chatbot class, let's take it step by step. First, we need to figure out how to record audio. We're getting ourselves a recorder object and start it. We then loop indefinitely until we interrupt the cell and record the audio. After the cell is interrupted, we save the collected audio to a file. Let's try it. So I'm running the cell. The recording should start. And when I hit stop, there should be some audio recorded. Next, we need to transcribe the audio to text. For that, we can use the transcription API like this. We simply hand over the audio file to the Whisper 1 model and receive a transcript object in return. Let's see what it looks like. This is a transcript of what I just said. The recording should start and when I hit start, okay, I think I misspoke there. Anyway, it works. Let's integrate this into our chatbot one step at a time. First, the audio recording. This essentially is the same code as seen before. I just added two print statements here. Now we need a transcribe method. This is exactly like the code we have tried before. And to put everything together, we implement a voice chat method. We are first recording the audio, then 
transcribing it and finally hand it to our chat method from before. Let's test it. To do that, I replaced the chat method with our voice chat method and run the cell. Hello, who are you? I'm the digital buddy who crossed the keyboard to bring you a bite of humor. Nice to meet you. It was obviously transcribed and we heard the audio. The last API I want to touch on today is image generation. Let's give our chatbot a face. We do this in two steps. First, we let GPT generate a description of an image fitting to the generated response of the chatbot. Second, we hand this generated text to DALI 3 to get the image. And again, let's first explore the steps one by one before we add them to our chatbot class. We call the chat completions API and hand in a new system prompt. You are a face describing system which describes the face of a funny person making a funny comment. You received the text the person is saying, please describe the face that would be fitting as a prompt to the stable diffusion image generation AI DALI. As the user message, we hand over the generated chat message. Let's see what we get back. For a face that matches the funny comment, I'm a joking chatbot. Imagine the following. Eyes, wide and slightly crossed to exaggerate a silly, playful gaze. Okay, you can read the rest on your own. Let's see what DALI makes of it. To do that, we need the image generation API to get the image. We specify the model we want to use, the prompt, the size of the image we want to generate, and the quality. The parameter n describes the number of variations we want to generate. For our purposes, one is enough. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, <laughs> not so bad. So let's integrate this into our chatbot class. To do that, we add a showFace method to it. This method basically does both of the steps we just did after another. Calling GPT to generate the description and call DALI to generate the image. In the end, we display it. Now we just need to call it in our chat method as well. Self.show face and we hand over the response content that should be it running the class creating a new instance and let's take it for a test drive you are in a youtube video say hello to the viewers if you enjoyed watching me as much as i enjoyed making this video which let's be honest is a pretty high bar then smash that like button like it's the snooze button on a monday morning and if you want to see more of my shenanigans hit subscribe. It's free and it guarantees that you won't miss out on any future fun. If you want to learn more about OpenAI's Assistant API and how you can create a chatbot that can answer based on your own documents, I'll see you in this video. Until then, have a lot of fun coders.